Good morning, everyone. I'm Jan Carabeo with your morning digital news brief for Sunday, July 3rd. A homicide investigation is underway in Philadelphia's Fox Chase neighborhood after a body was found in the trunk of a burning car. Fire crews responded to that scene just off of Ree Road near Pennypack Creek around 10:30 last night. Once the fire was extinguished, that's when officials found the man tied up in the trunk of that car with a gunshot wound to his head. The victim has not yet been identified, and so far, no arrests. The union representing workers at the Hard Rock Casino in Atlantic City have now reached a deal averting a strike this holiday weekend. Workers still have to approve the plan, but the tentative agreement came just hours before last night's strike deadline. That means seven of Atlantic City's nine casinos now have reached deals with the union. Plus, Golden Nugget and Resorts have agreed to adopt the terms that the other casinos have reached with the union. And final preparations are underway for the Salute to America 4th of July parade in the city of Philadelphia. Eyewitness News at the convention center where more than 70 parade floats are undergoing final preparations for they, their debut this 4th of July. Parade goers will also meet or will also see marching bands, drill teams, dancers and more. The parade starts at 11 o'clock tomorrow on East Market Street and ends at Broad and Arch Street. Now to the eyewitness weather forecast. Here's meteorologist Tammy Cisa. Hi, Tammy. Oh, hello. We're going to talk about happy weather for tomorrow. That's what I always say high pressure stands for. We have a cold front. It's worked its way through the area, brought those strong to severe storms across parts of the area yesterday, brought us the clouds and those spotty showers this morning. But it is quickly going to drop south of the area, allowing high pressure to come in and bring us sunshine and a much drier air mass. So here we go, rolling through the morning, already clearing out between 10 and noon for the Poconos and the Lehigh Valley. We'll see clearing in Philadelphia by about 1, 2 o'clock this afternoon. And down the shore, you should clear between 2 and 4. And then it's going to be absolutely beautiful tonight. Clear skies for any fireworks. We go into tomorrow morning. You start the 4th with lots of sunshine. Activities in the afternoon, no problem. You should have beautiful sunshine, maybe a few puffy clouds here and there. And then tomorrow night for the fireworks, we're clear. But as soon as those fireworks end, we're going to start to see clouds uh, moving in. Tuesday, we see in Increasing clouds, and there is another disturbance off to the west. Could bring us showers and storms in the afternoon and evening and the overnight hours. We'll have to watch this closely because uh, the models are struggling with where these are going to be setting up. But there is the potential of uh, strong, gusty storms, maybe even some severe storms moving into the area late on Tuesday. As far as rain chances, there isn't anything out there for tomorrow. But after that, each and every day, there is a chance of a shower or storm all the way into early on Saturday. Philadelphia, 87 today. Spotty showers this morning, giving way to sunshine this afternoon. 83 down the shore. Same thing, clouds and a spotty shower, giving way to sunshine later. And turning sunny fairly quickly in the Poconos, 78 degrees for you. Tonight, mostly clear, mild, less humid. Toss the windows open. It'll be a refreshing air mass out there. It is going to be a beautiful night. Tomorrow, 89, a stellar day for the 4th. In fact, it is the nicest day of the next 7. And then we get into that unsettled stretch, which is Tuesday through Friday. Jan? Cammie, thank you. And remember, you can always get the latest news and weather headlines right here on CBSPhilly.com. I'm Jan Carabeo. Have a great day.